Hey, Tyler, Theater Design Company. So episode number four of our lobby slash demo room build. Uh, if you've been watching any of our videos, uh, I won't go into too many of the, how the rendering works. If there's something, a key feature of that I need to show, then I'll add the rendering. And uh, I'm doing the lobby first so that we can seal off that area and then jump on to the larger project, which is the theater room. As of right now, we're roughed in. Everything's drywalled in. The only thing that's not roughed in is we have this area up here, which is super rough. We've got some wiring and a few things to sort out across the top there. There's some other uh, mechanical in the left side of the home there uh, per the right. So I got to use that as a chaseway. And what we're thinking about doing up there is actually doing like a brick feature. Uh, if you're over in Europe or Italy, you'll notice everything's stone. So they would have that probably in a brick. Uh, so we're thinking about doing that. We've already picked out a chandelier for it. So it's going to get a little satin gold chandelier that kind of sits down there, which will be a nice effect. Uh, if you haven't watched the video on the right hand side this is our niche for our cabinet wine fridge and then popcorn machine and what we're going to do is do a solid surface top on that we're going to backlight it and from the tape line that's some of the waterproofing up that's all a brick set everything else you see that's the uh, dura rock that is el dorado stone and we've got that all picked up that's sitting down at our supplier ready to go uh, this still going to be travertine, so we got to figure out our angles here, but this will be travertine through there. And then I'm going to jump into each area. I'll do a quick overview so you can see what I'm talking about. But I'm going to jump over and I'll do the right-hand side first. So if you've ever watched the video, the original one had a digital movie board there, a movie poster there, and one on the right-hand side. We've decided not to do that. That's just going to be a blank painted wall. That one there, it will be a 49 inch Samsung digital movie board. The digital movie board player will sit in the back of the room. You can see the little two inch hole up top to route wires. Uh, again, that's a Samsung 49 and then it'll get a custom frame around it. Uh, as you can see now, we've got our kind of our cinema door mocked up. And what we're thinking about doing on that is the new double stroke. That was just how it was actually cut out. And I actually figured that's the best way to actually do it and light it in. I've got a quick little uh, image I'll put on the right hand corner of this of what it looks like with the plexiglass in it and then we have seven or eight different frosted plexiglasses in route to get the best look. I've actually even have one that's got a green tint to it that looks like glass so I'm kind of excited to see that one. Uh, other items going on here that you don't see so right behind here is the wire for our power transfer hinge right up here where this hole's at is the start of a six inch Brio American lighting can. So that will light up, it's just kind of a uh, standard walkway. It's not necessarily a hallway, but it'll be a nice to have a little light in there. And we can also set that on a motion sensor. So when you're walking in, that just kind of guides your way up to the theater. As far as guiding into the theater for step lights, we have three on this side. We have three on this side. That's again, all wired 18.6. It's all random parallel, uh, double gang outlet. This one here will be a keypad for walking into the theater room. This will be the keypad for the lighting control on the lobby side of things. And this will act also as a three-way since there is already another Lutron in the uh, entryway going into the bar. Uh, I think that kind of wraps this wall. I'll do the ceiling last. Let's jump over and I'm going to flip back around to the other side. So this will be the left side. Uh, again, Eldorado stone, although we may do a slight change of that and that may be a brick set. I need to do, have the rendering guy do a brick set mock-up on it and see. Uh, I think it might be nice to have that, um, especially with the linear lighting. I'll go over that in a second of how that's set in there. Um, wine cellar opening. So wine cellar racking is all pulled away, ready to go. Uh, glass is ordered. And so that will look directly into our wine cellar. So that'll be a nice feature. Um, the reason that is not centered on this thing is this is actually the other side of the doorway but this is actually wine racking once you're in that room. So we didn't want to lose that wine racking and I don't think it'll really make a difference because people are going to be looking into the wine cellar and they're not going to notice that that opening is off centered. And then let me jump on to one of the larger projects. So in this one, I'm, again, I'm kind of blocking the light, I apologize. But what we got here is three 55 inch Samsung commercial displays. They'll be set in video wall mode. So that'll technically be video wall one, two, and three. And the way that works is we have a player that runs to an HDMI splitter. It's all 4K and then the TVs know how to break up the signal. Uh, you can see here, we've got a strong in-wall enclosure. So 
and we've got network wires we've got video wires for Balan. everything's gonna be cat 6 and then what you don't see is there's actually a five port um, automated switch down here so a power outlet that we can turn on and off so if we ever have to reset these TVs or power cycle something we don't have to worry about pulling the framing off we can just power cycle it uh, via the computer um, we do that a lot of customers homes for remote access remote monitoring so a pretty nice feature uh, as far as getting additional wires in here we do have an inch and a half conduit that routes in and we've matched those holes up so everything lines up so if we need to add HDMI or fiber HDMI we can and then last the three blue wires so those are for Lutron shades so the goal on this is your trim for your window will come in here it'll trim back in trim back in and then at the top it's going to trim in and so the the uh, Samsung displays are actually sitting back here that's how thin they are so the mounts an inch and eight the TV's an inch and an eight so it sits about right here the walnut trim will run into that and that will look the goal is for that to look like you're looking outside and then to top it off we'll have a Lutron shade that can come down that will block that off so especially when you come in here you can imagine coming into this room and you got wine cellar lights going there you got lighted cinema door you got digital movie poster I think it might be nice to have the shades drop down and then it's kind of a wow factor you would hit a button and have those all raised up and the goal is to make that look like you're looking outside of course you can do graphics displays art everything else on it and then the top of this would be kind of like a craftsman style trim that runs all the way across the top and we'll match that across the wine cellar and then we'll probably match that across the digital movie board so as far as the casing goes on all the windows and trim it'll all kind of be symmetri symmetrical and you will not know that there's Lutron shade motors up there and then last gonna go over the ceiling detail on this I'm gonna start with the uh, very very difficult linear lighting we're doing on the curved wall so as you can see we've got 18.6 for an RGBW and we have a 5 inch 5 8 inch slot running all the way around it's not ran all the way to the wall because we don't want the light shining down or shining down but you can imagine the amount of effort that that took to do so that came from overseas it should be here next week and then that gets flushed in so that's a flush trimmed light you'll it blends right into the drywall we uh, still have our corner bead coming in for our arch curve and then last if you look at the ceiling there's four boxes if you're wondering what those are the two outer white boxes are eight inch subs times two so there's two eight inch subs two eight inch subs and then the more primer grays are actually speakers so these are all invisible speakers everything will hit hide in so you won't notice that anything is there and then they get flushed completely drywalled over there's a ton of info on it we're probably going to do a video on them as well i'll put on the bottom right hand corner a few of the install photos of those and what they're actually looking like And the back of them and then last I'm gonna show you is that this will get a cove all the way around so this is again 18.6 and then we're gonna bring out and do a cove all the way around and when I did this drywall curve I actually saved those MDF templates so I actually have a complete perfect MDF template of that outside corner to make that cove and then this will all get RGBW uh, lighting in here and so that should wrap this video up, I don't know what else I can go over. Uh, we got obviously tile to do, stonework to do, and drywall to do. So I'm hoping to get the drywall tapers in here this week. Uh, it's Sunday now, so if I get them in this week, they'll be wrapped up next week. So this week we'll be ready to actually start trimming out. And then I'll have them do the drywall and while things are drying, I'll end up doing the tile on the floors. And then the very last thing we'll do the stonework it's actually not that dirty to do the stonework you're really not doing any cuts in here um, but anyway that wraps up the lobby can give you an idea what we're going to go with so it's pretty dusty out here but this is the entry coming down 
you walk in that's their entry up into the wine cellar and then this is the new entry into the lobby so pretty cool all right thanks a lot uh subscribe do all that good stuff you're supposed to do on youtube and we'll go from there thanks a lot